Most new cars come with a USB plug for you to plug in your phone or your iPad or any other number of devices to charge. Older cars basically have this 12 volt cigarette lighter that's usually not in the best place spot. And in order to use it, you have to get one of these clunky adapters and it can get in the way and be right there when you're shifting if you're in a manual car. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna install a factory looking USB port that's out of the way and that allow us to charge phones and do whatever else we may need. This is the part that will be sticking out and that part in this car we're likely going to install in the center console here or maybe where the ashtray is and hide it away. We've decided to install our USB port in the center console of this Miata. So in order to do that we're not going to need a couple of pieces of equipment. The first piece we're going to need is a flush mount USB port with a cable attached. So this will allow us to drill and cut here where we're going to put the USB port and then slide it in flush. But that's only half of the equation. The other half is a DC to DC converter that allow us to convert from 12 volts that we're going to hardwire into the car down to the 5 volts that uh, we need for USB charging. So these two pieces we picked up on Amazon and they're usually about 10 to 12 bucks each. So you can get both of these for less than 25 bucks. And we'll throw some links in the description if you guys want to look them up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our console and we've chosen to put the port in here uh, but just to keep it away from the cup holder area and to keep it kind of flush mounted. So what you want to do is whatever area you choose, you want to flip it down underneath and make sure that the rear end of the flush mount connector when it's slid in will have space and although our area here is tight we're going to have plenty of space to slide it in and then also make sure that you have room to wire the cable towards the dash or towards whichever position you're going to go. So what, we're, what we did here is we just marked off the area where we're going to drill and cut. Basically, you want to mark off your area so it's smaller than the back of the, the flush mount port. If you go too big, the port won't fit in there and then you ruin the piece. So we just did a rough marking that's slightly smaller than our port and we're going to use a drill in order to get, drill some pilot holes and then we're going to start cutting. There are multiple methods you can take here to continue uh, making this hole bigger. What we're going to do is just use a knife, but you can use a Dremel or some type of multi-tool or something else. But because the plastic here is thin enough and the area is kind of tight, we're just going to do it with a knife and then uh, measure and basically cut many times. Uh, measure many times and cut a very few times so our hole is exact. As you can see, our hole is very small now compared to the size of what we need to get through it. So all we'll do here is just uh, expand from this and keep making it bigger until we're at just the right size. Once you have your hole pretty close to what you're going to need, you want to go ahead and route the cable through and kind of give it a test fit to give you a general idea of how far further you need to go. So here we're probably at like 70 percent so I can I can see here that we need to make the hole wider and slightly taller. So we've been cutting on this for a few minutes and we've got our hole where we need it to be so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna route the cable through And once the cable is routed, all we're going to do is just snap it in place so you can see how the hole matches up to the plug. And at this point, we can just push the plug into place 
And as you can see, it pops right in and gives it a nice uh, OEM looking uh, position. So now that the plug is in place, all we're gonna do is kind of just clean this out. So shake it out, vacuum it out, whatever you need to do for your piece that you're using to get rid of all the shavings. And once all those shavings are out, uh, you wanna flip to the bottom, to the back of your piece. And where your cord is, you wanna make sure that you can route your cord now away from any, anything that it might jam on or bind up on and so on. So all we're gonna do here in our position is we're gonna zip tie it to a couple of spots and probably tape it to a couple of spots and then we'll go to the next step which is the part that plugs into this and goes to the car, the DC to DC converter and we'll show you how to hook that up in the car. So we just put some duct tape there. It's not the most elegant solution, but it does the trick of keeping the cord from moving around. And then over here, we're gonna use the zip tie to fasten it to the side of the ashtray box to basically act as a strain relief to prevent it from getting snagged if it gets pulled on. The next portion that we're gonna work on is the car side where we're gonna hook up our power to our USB plug. And what you wanna do is find a 12 volt source uh, and it's your choice whether you want it to be always on or on with the ignition. We're going to use the cigarette lighter plug here, which is only on with the ignition. And what you want to do is just get access to it, pull it out, and then use a tester and make sure that there is power actually going to it. So you want to get a tester and make sure that there's power actually going to it. As you can see here, it's lighting up. Our yellow wires are 12 volt and our black wires are ground. So all we're going to do is tap into them and then hide the cords underneath and then we're going to connect it to the other portion of our cable. So we've got our cigarette lighter unplugged and the trim removed. We got our wires ready here. We have our positive for our USB connector on the red and the ground on the black. So what we're going to do here now is we're gonna snip this connector and then we're gonna strip it back, combine these and then solder them back together so we're tapping into the same wires. So we've cut our wires, we've stripped them back, uh, we've put some heat shrink on these in preparation of our soldering and we've combined the lighter plug with our USB DC to DC converter. So you want to make sure that the red wire goes to the 12 volt for whatever you're cooking to and then the black wire goes to the ground and all we're going to do here is we're going to combine these guys and then we're going to start soldering. Once you have everything soldered up, you want to put your heat shrink on. So we'll just slide that on here, like we opened oh, too far, like we did with the other one. And then you can just use a heat gun and go ahead and get that all shrunk up. So as you can see here, the console is back in the car and we have our brand new port down here. And what we can do is plug a standard iPhone cord in and then on the other end, we can plug it into the phone. And because of the way our console is positioned, we can actually close our console so the port is completely hidden away. And if we give power to the car, it will start charging. The other nice thing is because our plug is inside the console, we can use a shorty cord and completely hide the phone away inside the console so there's no cables or phones hanging out while we drive so we're not disturbed.